So we ran up here to the, the Fraser River. I've never caught a sturgeon. I've never even seen a sturgeon. To catch the sturgeon, to do it safely and release it unharmed from a kayak is going to take some special skill. For that, I'm going to need a team of experts. Guys, you're on. Introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Paul Harwood, and uh, I'm currently a resident of Hope, and I've never caught any sturgeon. Paul is an expert in whitewater and wilderness safety, working for both the local government and on several whitewater films. He's here not only to fish, but to make sure that we're ready for the powerful currents of the Fraser River. My name is Chris, last name Chishla, Chris Chishla, owner-operator of Blue Water Rockies Sport Fish Guiding Company. Out here on the Fraser today, and we've caught a few sturgeon over the years, and we're going to see if we can duplicate that today with a few nice fish. Chris owns and operates the largest fleet of sturgeon boats on the Fraser River. He really is the go-to guy when it comes to this kind of fishing. The problem is, not only has Chris never seen anybody hook a sturgeon from a kayak, as far as he knows, it's never even been done here. We're gonna need a place to stay that's close to the river with good access. Mike is happy to help. And I am Mike Jones, owner and operator of Fraser River's Edge Bed and Breakfast Lodge, where you guys are hopefully comfortably staying at. We're the only waterfront uh, accessible lodge from Chilliwack to Vancouver, so it's a pr pretty neat thing, I think. We're gonna need special rigging for our kayaks for this adventure. So today I'm visiting the guys in the R&D department of Ocean Kayak. Their facility is located in Bellingham, Washington, which is just a short distance from where we'll be fishing up in Canada. They're gonna be rigging up special anchoring systems for us that should allow us a quick release if we run into trouble. And then when you're ready to go, all you do is you take this stainless beaner here, hook it through this rope loop, and now you're all in line. Because then you can, you know, you can take this rig here and put it anywhere. It's kind of cumbersome and heavy. So. Yeah, perfect. So we got Chris. He's going to show us how to do it properly from the boat, give us the techniques, the proper way to handle these fish, and then tomorrow we're going to put the kayaks in the water and see if we can uh, transfer the knowledge we get today into kayak fishing. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, there's some yeah, fish yeah. on there. Hit yeah, it, yeah. Hit it, hit it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no pressure at all. Well, that's what he could be coming up. He's going upstream. Come off? Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. God. Almost five feet. We're going to see if he's been tagged before. 